Wow. Wow, the camera really brings out my imperfections. Girl, I didn't think about that. Look at this. Look at this. Gross. What's even happening on my chin? We're not gonna get that close. Mm, I wanted to do like a college week in my life. Um, stressful. Um, but it's Wednesday. But it's Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! It is Wednesday, my dudes. I have a little bit of coffee. Why does my hair look like this? Why do I look like this? I literally can't even do a video because I look so... Why can't I speak? Because I'm too busy looking at myself. I'm going to put it away. I'm putting away the little viewfinder. Um, so... Guess what I found out today. My least favorite class of all time. Art history. I have a midterm next Wednesday, one week. Girl, stop interrupting me. Um, one week and guess, guess what? Guess what? So, last class on Monday, we went over the format for the midterm, which, all right, great. We're doing um, five art images that we've like seen in our textbook before and we have to like explain the context and the significance, sure, five of those. And then it goes into a section of 10 terms that we have also like seen in like our little art vocabulary and like explain those. And then one little like essay paragraph thing on like a question. I think there's like a list of five questions we can choose which one. And so we were like, okay. And she was like, yeah, I'll give you guys a list of the things that you'll need to know for the midterm and we were like okay great today in class she posts the list and people and we're all like because remember I said there's five pictures she posted 98 pictures that we need to study we're only doing five on the midterm why are we studying 98 pictures and then and then for the terms we're doing 10 terms she posts over a hundred terms, every single term. And she won't tell us what the, the essay questions are gonna be. But like, why are we studying every single term, every single picture to do five pictures, 10 terms? Girl, like obviously I don't expect her to just hand it to us. She made it seem like that last class, but I didn't expect her to just like hand it to us, but at least like narrow down the list because we have one week to do this. One week. I have other classes, other assignments. This is my only midterm, but still, I've got other things to be doing. One week to study for this. Do you think I'm going to pass this? No. Do I think I'm going to get a 30% on this? Yes. Am I going to be happy with that? Yes. So, yeah, I'm supposed to go home this weekend. It's long weekend because it's Columbus Day. It's my birthday on Monday, which is Columbus Day. My birthday's on Columbus Day. Yeah, because I found in America. Just kidding. Um, I don't even think I can go home because I feel like I need to spend my whole weekend studying for this stupid midterm because I need to study a million things. Girl. The way we all sat outside after class and spoke to each other about how mad we were. Me, our class has nine people in it. Literally half the class, me and three other people, we're sitting, we, we stop outside and we're talking to each other. And, and we're just like, did she really just do that? And then she comes out while we're speaking and she's like, do you guys all have classes? Like go away, don't speak to me. And then she has the audacity to say, have a nice weekend. Do you think I'm gonna have a nice weekend if I need to study 200 million things? No. In conclusion, I have no life from now until Wednesday. Whew, the way that really got me mad, got my blood boiling. Anyway, um, tonight, I'm doing pumpkin painting on Zoom with my floor because my little RA, she lives next door to me. Say hi, she lives right there. Um, 
I hope that's focused on me now because I, I don't have the viewfinder on me. But um, she she was like, does anyone want to paint pumpkins on Zoom? We can do it as a fun floor building activity. And since we can only have six people in the common room and there's like 30 of us on the floor, she was like, we can do it on Zoom. And so I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I originally wasn't going to do it, but I was like, why not? Because I should get more involved with these things. My mom would be happy to hear that I'm doing this. And now all of a sudden I'm realizing this is a bad idea because I could be using that what, hour while I'm painting a pumpkin to be studying for this stupid midterm. The way that it was such a bad idea. But anyway, that's at 8. I have class at 5. 5 to 6.15. And then I'm going to go to dinner. Probably until like 7. And I'm going to come back here and do pumpkin painting. What am I going to do? I should do my culture reading right now. I don't want to do my culture reading. It's 3.30. Culture reading for my class tomorrow at 11 a.m. Do I want to do that? Now is like my only time because I am not doing it after pumpkin painting and I know that for a fact. Literally every single night, me and my friend play Among Us for multiple hours. The longest we've played consecutively, I think, was three hours. We played for two hours last night. Um, she comes in here and we play and it's really fun. We don't cheat, don't even worry, but um, it's a good time. Let me know if you want me to do an Among Us um, playtime, whatever it's called. Um, not roleplay, um, not screenplay, what's it called? Hmm, anyway, if you want that, gameplay? What's it called? What do the gamers call it? Anyway, this has been too long. Hi, I'm about to paint a pumpkin with my floor. Well, we're each painting our own pumpkins, but I have to go pick it up from the common room. So, um, and then I'm gonna paint it, and I'm really excited, actually. So, it's at 8, and we're doing a Zoom. So we can all paint them together, but like not. Um, but I have to go pick up my pumpkin right now. I just put on shoes, now I have to throw on um, a mask. And I'm gonna go pick up my pumpkin. And then I'm gonna paint it. Look how cute is my pumpkin. I picked her out, she's pretty round. Then I got my paints, they're mixing. Um, and I got water and paintbrushes. So, um, I don't even know where I'm gonna do this. But, um, my plan is to paint the little orange among Us character, because I think that'll be cute. So, yeah, that's my goal. Okay, so I'm about to do the Zoom. It's not started yet, because she's helping people. But I have my paint brushes. I have some bowls so I can mix my paints, because that's not happening. I have two things of water. Um, I'm doing it on my one of my food bins, but I put down paper towels. I don't know. I want to do it on that, not on my rug. Um, I have more paper towels, and yeah, I have hiccups now, but we're gonna do it. Mm, I need to get a reference photo up, but I think it's gonna be so cute. Ew, there's a little bug in my room. I just found that, do you see it? Anyway, the reference, the beauty, kinda good. Um, it's kind of a mess in here now, though. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. So yeah, but anyway, da, 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 da. yes I did that. You will do a two for a check, and that's on period. <laughs> I made popcorn. Literally, no, I don't make it every night, but I make it a lot. Look at my pumpkin, it's so cute. Um, yeah, it's nine. I was doing my some of my art homework before I left for class at five. But I haven't done that since. But I will. I'll get it done. But my popcorn's done. I'm about to eat it. Pasta making vlog. Um, so recently I've been thinking I would like to try buttered pop, pop popcorn pasta. Um, I don't know. But I want to make it myself. I don't want to try it from somebody else. I want to make it me. I did that. Um, so I'm home. Look at the pasta drawer. All that is pasta. All of it. And there's more up here. Why do we have so many pastas? They're all different ones. Ziti Rigatti. Don't want her. Penne. Nope. Let's see. Rigatoni. Ew. Nope. Mm. Tricolor Rotini. No. The shape is fun, but I would hate it. Mm. Didalini. No. More rotini, but not tri-colored. Just normal. Linguini fini. I don't know what that is. 
No. There's lasagna. What's this one? Ridge lasagna. Um, oh, why is there so much pasta? Elbow macaroni. You got wheels. You got mini fedele. No, bow tie pasta. Spaghetti is what I'm going to go with. There's also angel hair. Girl, why is there a million pastas? Fettuccine. Mmm, fettuccine kind of interesting. Versalini. So, so skinny. I kind of like that. Vermicilli. She's skinny. I really am feeling that. It's very skinny. But is that too skinny? Thin spaghetti. That kind of sounds good. But is that the same thing as angel hair? See, the thing is, I don't know. I don't want to spill these. But I don't know anything about pasta. Vermicilli, I like her. She, is she as thin as angel hair? Are they the same? Angel hair is really thin. Vermicilli is literally the same thing. Is, wait, which one said thin? thin spaghetti? Is thin spaghetti like the same as angel hair? See, I don't know anything about pasta. I like the thought of thin spaghetti. Yeah, I'm gonna go with thin spaghetti. And she's already open, so I don't have to open a whole new box. I think we're gonna go with her. No um, sauces, but I want butter. That's it. We're making this thin spaghetti skinny. Anyway. Hi. I'm eating on my floor. Um, I always eat on my floor. Animal crackers. And I just make coffee. So good. Um, I got a fish for my dorm. It was my birthday on Monday and I got a fish. His name is Gilbert. Let's do a fish tour. My eating setup, I eat on top of this thing that holds my food and I just like put stuff on it and I'm watching YouTube. Anyway, fish tour. This is Gilbert's cage. There he is. Um, it has a little top to feed him. It has a little, I was gonna say a waterfall, but it's the filter. Um, he has a cool like submarine and He's a beta, he's premium male butterfly beta, if you're wondering. He's really pretty. Yes. Sorry, my hands are shaking from the coffee. I just did a midterm, um, my first midterm for my art history class. I literally hate that class so much. I think I failed it. Um, so I can't wait to get my results back and see. Um, before going into it, I thought that I was going to get a, like a 30, but after I did it, maybe like 65. Mm. So, yeah. Also, get these. I love these. Mm. Let me tell you about some of my good deals. I got sweatpants yesterday in the mail. I ordered them last week. These ones and black ones. Nike Little Boys Sweatpants. $35. They fit me perfectly. Um, because I was, I was like, like I have a pair of sweatpants that are Little Boys Sweatpants that me and Kristen got before. And I was like, why can't I wear Nike Little Boys Sweatpants? I need some new sweatpants. And like women's sweatpants are like much more than $35. So I was like, let's see if these Little Boys Sweatpants would fit me. So I was looking at the size chart and I got size extra large and they're the perfect length for me. If I was any taller, like these would be a little short, but they're the perfect length and they have an adjustable waist and they have pockets and they're so soft. Like I wore them yesterday and they were so comfortable. And also yesterday it rained a lot and the streets all flooded. So I got soaked. My shoes are wet. They're still wet and I wore them anyway. Oh, and I got new socks. I got little boys socks as well. Um, but I wear little boys, well, like, I wear boys six and a half shoes, and these fit size seven, so I knew they'd fit me, and they do. Oh, and I also got new leggings. Um, um, actually, what I'm wearing, these are actually yoga pants. These are from Fabletics. Um, yoga pants. They're really fun. I don't think they're black. They're, like, they're, like, a really dark gray. Um, because there's my black fab, oh, my black fabletics are both in the wash. They're in my, in my laundry basket. But then I got 
I like the um, power hold. I haven't tried these ones on yet. Oh yeah, so this is high, I like high-waisted. This is high-waisted power hold, 7 eighths. So like I got this really fun cover. They're like a green. Let me see, let me give you the exact definition. Um, just kidding, I can't. Oh, but if you're wondering, I, I wear the smallest size, um, extra, extra small, because it's a zero two. So this is a really fun color. And they have like a pocket right here in the front for your phone. So like you're wearing it and then it just like goes in your little pouch. So that's pretty fun. So I got these green ones. I'm excited to wear these, but I can't really wear them this week because I'm bleeding. Anyway, um, this is anywhere high-waisted leggings. So these ones are not 7 eighths. 7 eighths means like it's not full length, but that's okay because they honestly fit me the same kind of as full length. You have these blue ones. They're like navy blue. Um, I really like these too. These ones don't have a phone pouch in the front, but in the back they have this like weird little pouch. Um, I wouldn't use that, but if you want to, you can. I haven't tried these on yet, which is why they still have the tags on them, but I am wearing the yoga pants today because I thought that I would like to, and I did want to. Um, so you got those blue ones. Then the last ones I got are, oh, all of them are different styles. Trinity high-waisted pocket legging. Um, so these ones are like burgundy with maroon. I don't know what to call this. They also don't have the pocket in the front, but in the back, like they have this. It's actually three little pockets. You have one here, one here, and then one here. So you could put like three things. Um, I wouldn't use that either. I have leggings that have this and I don't use it, but it's really fun. I like Fabletics. Me and Kristen like their leggings a lot. Um, I really like how they fit, how they feel. And I like, I don't know, I, like, I just like them. They're my favorite. Mm, so yeah, those are my good deals. I feel like I had another one, but I don't remember what it was. Mm, no, I think that's it. Hi, I just got a package. Um, I got razors. I ordered these like three weeks ago, so I kind of forgot about them. And then I was gonna use them when they got here, but I literally shaved my legs last night. So I'm gonna have to wait like a week. Them. Time to give you ladybugs some love. Sure. Okay. Let's see it. Baby. My aunt recommended this to me. Whoa, the inside is holographic. My aunt recommended this razor. So I got it. Um, well, this is the head. Razor head. Let's pop this bad boy out. How do I open this? You all just saw that. I picked pink. Mm, kind of wish I picked a different color. Oh wait, if I press this, it'll like eject it. Wait, so, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, oh. Okay, well. Cool. Then this is another one, and what's this? A holder for your handle. It's magical. Well, I don't permanently live in a shower. Or, I don't, I don't have my own shower. I share a shower with everybody else. Wait, how does it work? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Then how do you like put this on the wall? Because clearly it won't do that. I don't understand. Oh, I am dumb. I was like, I was like, how do you put this on a wall? Oh, they're sending me more of these. What I pick? I think once every two months. Yeah. Because I didn't realize you were supposed to change your razor that often. Which is the reason I ordered new ones. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Um, yeah. Um, follow my Instagram. <laughs> Bye. Hide away, for the days alone enough.